Hello everyone and welcome back to another bad movie review. I just watched Legend of the Eight Samurai. This 1983 classic comes in at over two hours. And I know that seems like a lot for reading subtitles to some of you. But you know what? This one's worth it. Now the plot is that an evil army of undead have seized control of the land. Princess Shizu Shizu... I'm going to butcher all these names. Must assemble a, a team of eight chosen warriors foretold in an ancient prophecy. It's an operatic epic. These eight samurai who have magic marbles. That's not a euphemism. Uh, must come together to help the princess liberate her kingdom and kill these evil undead. Uh, I don't know if they're yokai or oni, but they're some sort of evil spirits. They're undead, basically. If, if you, the nerds can parse this one. <sighs> now, this is based on um, an ancient series. Well, it's not really ancient. An old book of uh, stories um, called the Nanso Satomi Hakenden, which roughly translates to the Eight Dog Chronicles. It was published between 1814 and 1842 in serialized format. And the author actually went blind before he finished the series and had to dictate it the uh, last couple of sections to um, apparently his daughter-in-law. A little, little fun fact for you. Now I expected this movie to be total Taco Bell farts. You know, they come out of nowhere and it reeks awful and it's going to make you wish you'd never been involved in the process. However... This was not that movie. This was actually kind of awesome. I'm not going to lie. I was super impressed with it. Um, the acting is actually really good. Um, you know, for foreign films, uh, generally I have low expectations. Uh, but this one really came through. There was some really fun stuff went on. And of course it had Sonny Chiba in it. Now... A lot of you that like sword and sorcery type fantasy films are going to really like this. It had a real Dungeons and Dragons kind of flair. And if you've played any video games that came out of Japan in the last 20 years, they probably stole something from this story. So whether it's this movie itself or the book version, I'm pretty sure they stole something. All right, what do we got here? We got magic marbles. There's eight of them because there's eight legendary warriors. Uh, the title is Samurai, but uh, that's a little generous for some of these people. There's a few rogues and scoundrels in there. Um, so we got the magic marbles. We got a giant snake that flies. We got a giant centipede. Uh, that's some sort of evil monster spirit thing. Uh, we got some sword fights. We got some gunplay. There's a magic flute. Evil wizards. A bloody Lazarus pit thing that regenerates the, yeah i made a batman reference deal with it uh regenerates the evil lady uh there's some romance there's a magic bow yeah a little something for everyone oh sure a few kids get slaughtered and there's some testicle jokes um but aside from that this is pretty good as far as like uh mythology and epics go it's very operatic i call it an operatic epic um, it has a kind of a cheesy 80s soundtrack though. Like if you see the Japanese version, it's got some 80s pop music and the American version has some different 80s pop music. Uh, and it's just this guy singing this weird love ballad, but it's very 80s. But the costumes and sets looked amazing. Special effects were surprisingly pretty good too. Uh, for 1983, they held up pretty well. And they actually had to have spent quite a bit of money on this. The movie does have lots of twists and turns like these kind of epics do. People change sides and allegiances and romance conquers all and people get slaughtered. And yeah, um, it, it's not an all ages film. I'll give you that. Uh, but if you're, if you got teenage kids that like sword and sorcery type stuff or hard fantasy or um, magic based fantasy, they would probably dig this. There is some nudity, so we got one butt shot and one boob scene, um, but uh, and there is a non-nude sex scene. But overall, I, I think this is a pretty tepid movie as far as uh, the sensuality goes. It's not done for gratuity's sake. It's 
relevant to the plot. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this movie. I'd actually never seen this before, but I got it in the, the Sonny Chiba collection. And uh, I was really surprised by how much fun this movie was. It, it's got a few parts that are a little slow, but overall the pacing's really good. It's got quite a hefty story. There's a lot going on with a lot of characters. that They don't do a whole lot of character development, but they have to introduce everybody. And a little bit of that and a little bit of the romance areas get a little dry, but overall it's got some really good fight scenes. It's got that, you know, wire tricks... And there is uh, a couple of, like, areas where things look fake. Like, oh, there's a butterfly that looks really, really obviously fake. There's one scene where somebody's getting off a horse that you can see the wire work. No big deal. It's it's overall a great film. I highly recommend this one. And it's definitely one of Sonny Chiba's better films, in my opinion. And I think uh, this one definitely is should be recognized as really good sci- uh, fantasy story great epic asian epics are generally pretty good story-wise but special effects tend to be kind of bad this one i didn't think had that i thought the special effects were actually pretty solid and the really in-depth and detailed settings and costumes really helped it out so i highly recommend this one this was a really fun adventure film that i think uh a lot of you D &D players out there and uh fantasy lovers would actually dig this one so if you get a chance, check it out, and um, you can find it in, in, by itself or in multi-packs, especially Sunny Chiba collections. Um, it's in a lot of those, so check it out. This is definitely one of his better works and definitely one of Japan's better fantasy films. So highest recommendation on that front. I think you'll enjoy it. It's much better than Ninja Wars. So that'll do it for today, and um, thanks for listening, and be sure and check out some of my other reviews, and um, like, share, subscribe. You guys know the drill. Thanks for listening.